Water is everywhere. It is the biggest and most essential resource around. Water sustains healthy ecosystems, communities, cities, and even you. It is essential to economic growth and activities like energy production, agriculture, industry, and health. Water is even a human right, and yet we do not have equal access to it. According to the OECD, by 2050, 240 million people will be without access to clean water, and 1.4 billion will be without access to basic sanitation services. This, while millions will face the problem of having too much, too little, or too polluted water, partly due to poor governance of water resources, insufficient infrastructures, and increased impacts of climate change. But there is hope. The international community has set a global agenda to address climate change through the Paris Agreement and to leave no one behind through the 17 UN Sustainable Development Goals in particular. SDG 6 aims to ensure clean water and sanitation for all. To help implement this global agenda, the OECD and its Water Governance Initiative developed a set of 12 principles on water governance to capture what governments can do to improve water policy protect water resources against climate disasters, and provide universal basic access to clean, sufficient water to all. The OECD principles on water governance have three main goals. To make water governance effective, so water actors have clear policy goals, are well-trained, and work together. To make water governance efficient, so data is produced in a timely manner, funds are mobilized to meet society's needs, and frameworks for innovation and action are encouraged. And to make water governance inclusive so governments foster participatory decision-making by including communities and individuals, building trust and engagement, especially with vulnerable groups. These principles are like a guide for the achievement and assessment of good water governance and making a real change. Since their creation in 2015, the principles have been used by decision-makers, universities, scientists, and now even you. Because water is precious to all aspects of life and a driver for economic growth, everyone should be involved in managing it well and preserving it. Communities and individuals around the world can ask whether their governments are effective, efficient, and inclusive using the principles. And you, how can you contribute to better water governance? Visit our website to learn more and access the OECD Principles on Water Governance in 18 different languages. Prime Minister Trudeau vowed to end drinking water advisories on indigenous reserves by March 2021. That didn't happen. 
Nishkantaga First Nation has had unsafe water for 26 years. My grandmother and my grandfather called it Bathurst. My six-year-old son calls it the city, which in his case is pronounced the city. I call it Banjo, the capital city of the Gambia. This place is home to all of us. However, being the capital city of the Gambia in all of its administrative perks, water supply issues and complications remain a daily worry for residents as well as non-residents of Banjo. Everybody will agree that uh, every human being needs water to survive. And the most affected people are the people at the rural area. And if you follow me through my initiative, that is the Rafaela initiative, you can see that we have been going around digging water wells for, for, for women because we are much aware that it's a necessity. Now, access to water should be everyone's concern, and the only way this can be ensured would be with the decentralization of water supplies. Decentralization is a very tangible solution to any problem because immediately when the water supply is decentralized, we believe um, we have we are going to achieve our solution. Because looking at the situation of the challenges that we face as a city, um, it is very important for us to have the support from the central government to make sure that we des decentralize the issue of water in all the regions in the Gambia, including Banyu. When we have local councils, and local councils are, are, are basically responsible of their jurisdictions, I think every local council should be able to be, to, to, to be given the chance or to be given the powers to be able to take care of their own jurisdiction. Uh, one thing that we have to do is to make sure that we have to do the same thing. Because we have to do the same thing, we have to do the same thing. But I think that we have to do the same thing. We have to do the same thing. 
am fo xamantene fa la ndox mi di joge i think problem yu bari dina wagne côté lu ñoo joy ni yeb dinañ ko mëna solve what is absolutely the business of the central uh, uh, government in the gambia so we are appealing to finances we are saying institutions come to our doorsteps and help us so that we can decentralize water i know the government the central government are doing their level best but if you decentralize also i think it will be more better so the Bandi city council in its own capacity is doing what they are supposed to do but if you if i want to go deep inside i will try to touch policies and it will make it more complicated for you but what i want to tell you here is uh, i want to urge institutions through the OVCD and the UCLG to come to the aid of Banjul and the Gambia i know the problem that we are facing when we talk about water and i've been saying this in many platforms and when we have problems with water it means women suffers most and the other part is the people that are at the rural area when we talk about the difficulties we have in water it's not particularly banjul we are not talking about the urban areas we are touching we are talking about the people at the rural areas i know how they are suffering and this is why i am on my knees to say uclg come to our aid definitely we need help مرحبا بكم اليوم في مركز الصبيه البيئيه الموضوع ديالنا هو الماء وكيفيه تدبير الثروه المائيه وكيف ما كنعرفوا الاقليم ديالنا كيعرف تساقطات مهمه جدا وفي نفس الوقت كنعانيو من ندره المياه بالنسبه لكم شنو هو الاقتراحات ديالكم باش باش نحدوا من هذه الاشكاليه اللي اللي كنواجهوها كاملين تفضل اقترح انشاء محطات لتخزين المياه يبنيونا السدود في النواحي ديالنا في منطقه شبشاون كلمه الشتاء اللي ما عنده فين يمشي نجمعوا في واحد البلاصه ونصيفطوها للسقايات 
شكرا على الاقتراحات اللي قدمتوها ودابا باسم جمعية صلاة سلطان اللي بيع وتنمية غنفوضوا عالي وجنات اللي غيمشي ويتلقوا مع رئيس المجلس البلدي الشفشاون باش ينقلوا له التساؤلات اللي هضرنا عليها كاملة ما بقاليش حالة هذيك كانوا بزاف تسابيات هنايا دابا مابقاوش بزاف ها هي وحدة فيهم صراحة مزيان ملي كنلقاو دابا سابيلات في كل مرة فين مشينا كنلقاو حتى ل <hesitation> عطيت ستة شهور لو كان كاين دابا كاينين السدود زعما ولا كاينين ل <hesitation> الخزانات ولا داكشي مكناش كنلقاو هاد المشكل حتى انتي كتشوف هاد العام ما طاحش ستة مرحبا بكم وقيلا عطوني شي اسئله اول حاجه مرحبا بكم عندنا الاقليم الشاون على حسب الاحصائيات الرسميه هو الاقليم اللي كتكون فيه التساقطات المطريه اكثر في الصعيد الوطني اذا عندنا تساقطات مطريه في السنه عاديه ولكن حتى حنا كنعانيو من الجفاف وهذا الشيء هذا كي في المدينه كنحسوا به وكنعرفوه في هذا الاطار هذا انه يعني تخزين ديال المياه لما كتكون تساقطات مطريه مهمه كتعمل عن طريق السدود هنا المدينه محاطه بسدين مهمين والان واحد السد ديال مولاي بوشتا هو اللي يستعمل سيستعمل من اجل تامين تزويد المدينه في حاله انه العين ديال راس الماء الاساسيه المزوده للمدينه ما تقدرش تعطي الصبيب الكافي من 50 الف نسمه ديال اللي كاينين في المدينه وخصوصا الماء كيكون عندنا زوار وسياحه اللي كيكون استعمال ديال الماء بكثره كما كنعرفوا دابا راس الماء في هذه الجهه هذه وكاين تسملال في هذه الجهه هذه وكيوقع التزويد ديال المدينه تاع جميع الاحياء ديال المدينه وواحد الشبكه ديال الماء صالح الشرب اللي فيها واحد المجموعه ديال الخزانات ومجموعه ديال المضخات اذا اشكالات الاكراهات اللي عندنا هو الماء كتكون سنوات ديال الجفاف وهنا بطبيعه الحال كان ضروري انه يتم تفكير في, بر... في مشروع كبير ديال تامين تزويد المدينه بماء صالح الشرب نحتاج الان واحد المحطه ديال اعاده تدوير هذه المياه العادمه من اجل استعمالها في, في مجالات متعدده واللي اساسيه اللي اساسيه بالنسبه للمدينه بحال السق ديال المناطق الخضراء بهذه المياه المستعمله واللي تم اعاده تدوير ديالها
Cartagena es una colorida ciudad localizada en Colombia, en el noroccidente de Sudamérica. Protegida por antiguas murallas de piedra, esta hermosa ciudad portuaria se ubica en la costa del Mar Caribe y está rodeada casi por completo por el mar. Cartagena es ampliamente conocida por su patrimonio arquitectónico, su energía, su cultura, el arte de sus calles y su directa relación con el agua. Cartagena está rodeada de agua, agua del mar, agua de la bahía, agua de lagos internos, pero el tema es que no estamos cuidando el agua y asegurando la sostenibilidad. Buena parte de sus lagunas, canales y otros cuerpos de agua están afectados por contaminación y degradación ambiental y no hacen parte de una dinámica sostenible y benéfica para la ciudad. Uno de los grandes retos y debilidades que tenemos como ciudad es precisamente todo el, el sinnúmero de canales que llegan hacia cuerpos de agua como la Ciénaga de la Virgen, por ejemplo, en los barrios más golpeados y más vulnerables de la ciudad. En estos momentos su sistema de drenaje pues, es visto como un basurero, es visto como un cuerpo que, que no vale la pena recuperar, que es muy fácil de, de contaminar, por el contrario, generar infraestructura urbana alrededor de estos cuerpos de agua. Puede ser que Cartagena se transforme urbanísticamente, que el cuerpo de agua pase a ser visto como como un cuerpo de comunicación, como parte del paisaje, para así crear un estado de resiliencia urbana que la ciudad necesita. Nosotros hemos encontrado que pueden haber unas sinergias entre las culturas de Países Bajos y Colombia, particularmente Cartagena, porque tienen algunos puntos en común. Uno de los puntos en común es la cercanía al mar y la vulnerabilidad al cambio climático. Los Países Bajos tienen la tercera parte de su territorio por debajo del nivel del mar y eso ha hecho que esta sociedad luche y aprenda a construir con el agua. Y esa idea de construir con el agua la queremos también replicar en Cartagena, que es una ciudad que tiene mucha vulnerabilidad al cambio climático, con el cambio climático podrá haber aumentos en las lluvias, en los patrones de lluvias y esos aumentos en las lluvias pueden generar muchas inundaciones en los canales y en los cuerpos de agua de Cartagena. Creemos que puede haber soluciones de infraestructuras sostenibles para ayudar a la ciudad a proteger la infraestructura, a proteger eh, las actividades sociales y económicas de la ciudad y al mismo tiempo restaurar los entornos naturales con los que cuenta la ciudad, restaurar los ecosistemas que hay alrededor de los canales y también en toda la zona del litoral costero que tiene un ecosistema marino y costero muy rico que se puede restaurar. La ciudad de Cartagena y el gobierno de los Países Bajos están desarrollando el proyecto Water as Leverage Cartagena, construyendo con el agua, con el objetivo de aumentar la adaptación climática de la ciudad. Con él se busca apoyar el diseño y ejecución de proyectos de infraestructura sostenibles con un enfoque inclusivo. La resiliencia climática es crucial para la calidad de vida de los ciudadanos y la competitividad económica de la ciudad. Yo creo que si nosotros logramos eh, poder poner el foco en este tipo de, de asuntos y pensarnos la ciudad no a un corto plazo, sino con las soluciones integrales que necesita para los desafíos del futuro, eh, probablemente podamos ser un referente para el mundo eh, con el apoyo del gobierno de los Países Bajos y para generar mayor bienestar a, a, la, a los ciudadanos y comunidades eh, de Cartagena. Para ello, se identificaron zonas críticas que serán el foco de los próximos pasos. Bahía de Cartagena, sistemas de canales, Ciénaga de la Virgen y litoral costero. En la siguiente fase se formularán propuestas innovadoras e integrales para generar transformaciones en Cartagena y conducirla hacia una senda resiliente. Con el programa Water as Leverage Cartagena, construyendo con el agua, inicia un viaje transformador que convertirá los más grandes desafíos en oportunidades para la ciudad. Water, clean and cold. 
A clear running tap in America is highly deceptive. Just what do you mean? Think of the water we drink as more like a stew, flavored by the substances we casually pour down our drains and the unbridled runoff of our farms and our machines. There simply is no away to which things can be thrown without them eventually coming home. In U.S. tap water, more than 160 unregulated contaminants linked to cancer and infertility exist widely, without any legal limitations. Because in many communities, especially in rural areas, water treatment facilities are outdated, overloaded, and underfunded. Their effectiveness based on what can be achieved cheaply. And as a result, people all across the country are chronically exposed to what slips through the cracks. A continuous, subtle stream of poison. In the long term, everybody loses. And that's the tragedy. It's possible to imagine that our solution will come from rapid innovations or the rise of a new leader or political party run by altruists and geniuses. I say tonight, as I have before, I am sorry and I will fix it. Or perhaps it's better to renew your own view of water as something more precious. Put pressure on elected officials to review the best and latest scientific evidence and then define water quality goals that will actually protect our public health. And invest in a filter. Because there is a collective rumbling in American tap water. And it won't be pleasant when your health turns suddenly for the worst. The description of uh, vulnerable groups in the context of Nairobi has largely um, been directed towards people living in informal settlements. Mimi ni Henry Nyando, village elder, Siranga Kibira. Kuna juu na Nairobi dam, nipale ele tulikuwa tuna wakati tulikuwa hapa alikuwa maji iko safi sana hata iko tele nyingine alikuwa hapo ngambo wasunga alikuwa na mtu bot anacheza nayo hapo saa kama saa hizi weekend namna hiyo alikuwa safi sana huko kwa bila iko saa hii na wakati yeye hata nyumba huko kwa majengo mpaka mafika kwa barini nyumba alikuwa kuju hata maji ya ya pai tukukujua ya nini hii maji tulikuwa tunaogelea na tunakunywa na tunatoa afu samaki the risks are related to pollution that is one of the major risks because uh, we have different uh, sources of pollution from non point source and from point sources of pollution uh, these uh, the pollutants emanate from pit latrines for example Uh, which are dug in urban centers, especially in informal settlements, and they uh, uh, end up uh, into the groundwater due to seepage. I maji ya kubera, nasa kijibu wewe ibi. Story yake ni murefu. Kwa mana naona hii watu na usa hii maji, niseme ibi bitu mbili hapa kobera wetu kuelesa upate ukweli yake kwa maana naona ina hima stima Kenya Power ndio analete alafu napatia kateli kateli sasa ndio nausa na mita yao nawekwa kando maji pia iko namna hiyo maji mita we naona na mita hii afuatwi iko kateli umelete maji umejenga ball sasa watia city So 
despite the water company uh, supplying water to these kiosks, we are also seeing a lot of uh, infringement of this supply through um, uh, what we call spaghetti connections. So you see so many pipes coming from the main uh, pipe and then there are people or individuals, groups of people or individuals who are controlling the supply. So the residents actually pay to them. <laughs> If you want to have a, a dam and use your water supply, you must protect the catchment. Yeah. If you go to Swaziland, where they had problems with South Africa, yeah, uh, with regard to pollution of the of their water of their main river. Uh, that was being polluted by the gold mining activities in South Africa. Uh, they, uh, came to, they, they came together between the three countries, South Africa, Mozambique and Switzerland, and agreed to develop uh, storage dams uh, to, to enhance water supply to their people so that they can meet the demand. Yeah. And they protected their catchment areas. There are no, no settlement in the source of uh, the, the water for the dams. Yeah. So, as you do the dam, you must make sure that the catchment is protected. Yeah. Yeah. If not, then you are just going to have a, a dam like an Arubi dam. Yeah. Je suis tout du moment du samovalle. Mais dès que Kermasal, plus précisément, c'était qu'à son centre. Mais dès que c'était vide, depuis 2003. Bon, finir que ce manège ni, donc fait partie des zones inga hamantin, des zones bleues l'année de ouais. Donc on a à peu près à six zones bleues inga hamantin d'après Amdo. Vous voyez jusqu'à maintenant, bon les gens d'or bien mufides. Chaque nuit bougnoate, tout le temps on regarde les bingues qui s'ignorent de nuit. Je ne sais pas si tu es là, 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 tu es di kursi bir, soi soliere, si bi tingkat saya sale, nampak bi pasen nyuat, jauh sunu nyai memsos dari dunia ni, sabtu hari ini, saya aspire, mungkin kena nyuat, 
2013, on a commencé à faire une association SDK, Sotrac Développement Quartier, Sotrac Développement Kermassar. Nous sommes venus à mobiliser les textes de nos pompes, les textes de nos territoires, au niveau de la Grande Médine. Mais maintenant, si nous avons eu 6 à 7 points, points bleus, nous avons eu un certain niveau, nous avons eu un certain niveau, nous avons eu un certain niveau. Cela veut dire donc des hectares, puis 26 hectares. Là. Les toilettes ne peuvent pas poser problème. Parce que les problèmes que nous avons, c'est qu'il n'y a pas de problème. Il n'y a pas de problème, il n'y a pas de problème. Donc, il n'y a pas de Avant tout, la santé est égale à la santé. Il n'y a pas de problème. 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 L'ADM est le fruit d'un partenariat entre l'État et l'Association des maires du Sénégal. Au-delà des plus dures viennes, qui tombe c'est depuis quelques années. Il y a l'urbanisation un peu incontrôlée et l'occupation des zones basses. Après les quelques années de chercheresse, les lacs se sont achetés et les gens l'ont occupé. Nous avons constaté aussi un relèvement de la nappe phréatique qui ne fait plus l'objet de pompage pour la ABC. Nous avons aussi constaté l'absence d'ouvrage de drainage qui peut soulager les populations par l'évacuation des eaux de pluie. Pour cela, nous avons réalisé des ouvrages, des bassins au niveau de la forêt de Mbao pour le stockage des eaux de pluie. Ces mêmes eaux vont continuer par le système de canalisation vers la marine de Mbao pour se jeter à la mer. La gestion des eaux pluviales, en réalité, c'est une compétence état là. Mais l'État a fait une compétence qui nous transférer aux collectivités locales ou à l'environnement qui est là-bas. Nous comptons améliorer ce réseau-là avec nos partenaires. Nous allons nous donner une bonne amélioration du réseau d'assainissement. Nous allons nous donner une bonne amélioration du réseau d'assainissement. Nous allons nous donner une bonne amélioration du réseau d'assainissement. Moi, bon, ce que nous avons appelé, c'est peut-être euh, euh, nous avons partenaires, par exemple. Mettre nous en rapport avec des partenaires qui sont venus nous faire des faits d'investissement pour que l'inondation soit une vie et une vie.
Ang sapa sa nabok, dako yung bilin na mo. Galigo may diri, o ang tubig, ginagamit na mo sa matagadlaw. Nabago yun ang tanan, sukad nga nakikita isi sa gold diya sa mga piwata. In the 1980s, ang panahon na grabe siyod ang pagmina o gold. Bata pa ko, hindi na ko ka ng bukira, tanan klase sa tao na kita na ako na kinuha ay o gold. Dagaya yun ang mga tao, daghag gold, daghan yun o kwarta. Magdagan sa pamulawan di ha, gadagan po ang kimikal nga gasubay sa amuang sapa, kasama sa cyanide o mercury. Ang mga tao, busy kay silang pagpangwarta. Ang mga sapa, naapektuhan na sa mga kimikal. Pero, wala gano'n nila gitagad. Nilubog ang sapa. Di na may kaligo. Ang todwa na gano'n na uli eh. Sa ako na hinumduman, 1990s, nihinay na ang pamulawan sa Mount Diwata. Twenty twenty one na, pero ang epekto sa kahakung sa tao sa bulawan makita ang Japan. Dagang minero ang niyundang pero nagpabiling hugaw ang sapa. Unta mahimuning warning ng walay kantidad sa kwarta o gold ang muluwas at toa kung mahurot ang tanang limpio ng tubig sa kalibutan. Saskatchewan is one of the most important jurisdictions in the prairies for wetlands and all of the biota, all of the birds, amphibians, insects, mammals, and so on that are associated with wetlands. Drainage can range from something that's very subtle where one is simply contouring the land a little bit to move water down into certain places on a field all the way up to highly organized ditching that then moves large quantities of water to streams, rivers, lakes, so that producers can work their fields with fewer obstructions. 
The decision that each individual landowner makes might seem as though it's a very small thing with very little impact. But when you get many people taking the same action, just knocking out a little bit more habitat, one or two more wetlands, that accumulates. That has a big impact when you add it up over larger areas. Many producers across this beautiful area of Canada have been productive crop or livestock producers for years and have retained many wetlands. The central question is how do we manage the water in a rational way so that we can retain the natural environment. It's just a matter of finding that right balance and finding the right tools or implements that might encourage producers to retain wetlands on their land. Producers can coexist with all these components of the natural environment and still make a good living. Bani. Ini. Air. Banyu. Oh, Bani kamu. Tula. Pengukit itu adalah alat untuk menjugil. Ini ininya nih, di sini beban. Nah nanti ini diungkit ke sini buat naikin. Udah sih mas. kind of issues that dominate Chennai are all typified by water. Like either there's too much of it or too little of it. We face recurrent floods, recurrent droughts. Semarang as a coastal city is suffering from tidal flood and land subsidence. So people here tend to think that water is actually their enemy rather than their friends. 
মইনদী খুলনা শহরের একটা প্রাণ কেন্দ্র এবং জলবায়ু পরিবর্তন জনিত কারণেই যেই প্রবলেমগুলো আমরা ফেস করি সেটা হলো জলবদ্ধতা অতি অতি বৃষ্টি ঝড় এবং স্যালাইনিটি যে বৃদ্ধি পাচ্ছে এখানে যার কারণে আমার ফসল ঠিকমতো জন্মাচ্ছে না পানি যেটা ওয়েস্ট ওয়াটার যেটা নদীতে ফেলে এবং নদী ক্রমাগত এটা নষ্ট করছে এই ওয়াটার অ্যাজ লেভারেজের এই প্রোগ্রামের আওতায় আমরা নদীটাকে প্রবাহিত করতে পারি পরিষ্কার রাখতে পারি প্রিজার্ভার রিজার্ভার হিসাবে এখানে কাজ করতে পারি এবং বায়োডাইভার্সিটির এখানে উন্নত করতে পারি Water as leverage really changed the perspective of seeing water and treat water. For example, one of the wild concept is a resilient kampung. By making this place free from tidal flood and land subsidence, we can provide a good livelihood for the people here. So they can live here, they can work here, they can play here, and also this could be a role model for any other similar coastal places around the world. As a program, Water is Leverage made sure that water was not looked upon as a problem issue. It was looked upon as an opportunity. It was looked upon as a connector. One of the things that the program attempts to do is to capture water effectively. One of the sites is a temple tank. There are 54 major temple tanks in the city of Chennai. Historically, these tanks serve the purpose of water recharge. Water as Leverage very innovatively attempts to restore this and make sure that the water harvesting part of it is maximized so that water is available on a sustained basis to everyone. Water as Leverage project also triggered a more holistic approach in handling water. It looks at humans as responsible entities, entities that can play a very pivotal role in conserving a very limited resource for future. So in a sense, it was completely innovative, something that the city had not witnessed before. Program at bottom up approach, ekdom root level theke jara user, jara ei pani bebor kari, jara jalabodho ta shikar, ebo ekdom root level er kishak pojon to kishak riksha wala shobai ekhane engaged chilo. Shomojo ta er madhomei amra eta toyi korte shakom hobo. আমি একটি সবুজ এবং বাসযোগ্য খুলনার স্বপ্ন দেখি যেখানে প্রাকৃতিকভাবে সব কিছু গড়ে উঠবে এবং লবণমুক্ত পানি যদি আমরা ব্যবহার করতে পারি এবং বায়োডাইভার্সিটি এখানে উন্নত করতে পারি এটা একটা সাস্টেনেবল সিটি হিসেবে গড়ে উঠবে ভবিষ্যতে মাই ফ্রিম ইস দ্যাট দ্য পিপল অফ স্মারাং উইল লাভ দ্য ওয়াটার দ্যাট এভরি প্লেস নিয়ার দ্য ওয়াটার It can be a beautiful place, it's not an abandoned place. And all the people of Samarang will consider water as friends. I dream of a Chennai where the city does not fear water, where water is celebrated and look at it as a resource that you really can conserve for future in an extremely inclusive manner. El agua es un bien común, pero es finito, ¿verdad? Es un derecho, no una mercancía, que debe de ser tutelado en un sistema de protección social. Hay varios, varios pozos que están haciendo broqueles y se está acabando siempre el agua. Primero, que vaya a ver las microconchas, cómo se están secando, producto del de montón de permisos que les están dando a las empresas constructoras, porque ahí va a encontrar la raíz del problema. El agua de mala calidad, el agua chuca, para tener una justificación de privatizarla. la de Esco la que empezó a gestionar y a organizar el sistema de agua porque era una necesidad primordial y sentida por la comunidad del rodeo. Nos organizamos, luego articulamos, 
y luego ya empezamos a dar pequeños pasos. Nunca habíamos estado administrando un proyecto de agua, los hemos estado levantando de poquito a poquito, con el gobierno local no hemos tenido ayuda. ¿no? Este proyecto beneficia a 85 familias. Y los organizamos, ¿no? hicimos la gestión para poder tener el agua en la comunidad. Le mando un mensaje a otras comunidades de que tienen que organizarse, tienen que gestionar un proyecto de agua. Seguiremos en la lucha denunciando los abusos y peleando por tener un instrumento legal que nos permita defender el bien común que es el agua. This is the University of Nigeria, where water scarcity has been a major challenge. A student tend to miss lectures due to lack of usable water. Since I came to this school, water has actually been a major challenge. Imagine whereby you have exams and you are still trying to make it up like hustle to get water that you used to bait and go for the exam hall. And even when there is water, there is a great strife among students who wake up very early in the morning to fight in the long queue for water. Water scarcity in the university is caused by the hilly nature of the land and a huge coal deposit in the soil, which gives the water a black color and sometimes an irritating smell. Large coal deposits in this part of town. It gets to be very dirty and uh, like sometimes it smells very odious smell, very offensive smell. This has led to the massive failure of students, especially those residing in hostel. Up to a week, there was a time up to a week in our hostel we didn't see water to to buy, not even the free one that they used to give us. Just like today, I didn't buy before go, uh, going for my exam, and it's so terrible. And After a virtual meeting organized by the Let's Talk About Water Global Forum in March 2021, a team got inspired to supply 13,500 liters of water to students on World Water Day. Water scarcity is still a major problem in the university and the world would never get better if we don't talk about water. Yaz vaxtlarında her gün akım yıkımız azam menin yerçe turup teyinizin boyuna keçer edip. Mene alpız yıl bol kalpta. Isı adette yelige çekem terk etmedim. Şuğuldağın torkuların taska orlıp suudun köpürüğü insanga bir takırar lezzet bağışlaydı. Bir bu yer ülkün teniz bulgan, kemi parakotlar tümlü tüska katnağan, tonna tonna balıklar avlangan, desem, sen esiz be? Bu ham benim delilim var. Eğer mağan sol vaxtları gün dur gelip, ısı teniz yok olup getedir. Ornunda sahra şöl boladı desem ben, sen begin bolar edim. Yendi bolsa bir vaxtları bol yer teniz olgan degenge sen gün kelmeydi. Arxadan yesedim ay ay Aldığınızda ağıp durgan suğudun kadar ne jettin? Ona hem mi vaxt ağıp duradı deyip hiç gün kepilip bir almaydı. Seni bir hiç kim kepillik bir almaydı. Adam zaten yendi su ıskan ara.
Le golfe du Morbihan, c'est une entité géographique qui va avoir la particularité d'être une zone très très abritée en communication avec l'océan Atlantique et sur lequel vont cohabiter des humains, mais pas uniquement. On aura toute une faune et une flore assez spécifiques. Nous sommes sur un territoire fragile, nous sommes sur un territoire de parc naturel régional, mais aussi nous sommes sur un territoire littoral avec des activités humaines qui fait que les rejets en mer de, de ces eaux sont, peuvent être dramatiques, bien sûr pour la mer en elle-même, mais aussi pour l'activité économique qui en découle. Quand je suis arrivé maire d'Illion, on avait des plages qui étaient souillées, avec parfois des quantités d'algues vertes assez importantes. Moi, je n'avais pas la compétence dans mes services pour pouvoir déterminer s'il si, euh, y a un risque sanitaire ou pas. Et c'est là où on a besoin de faire appel aux scientifiques pour voir cette vision sur comment se comportent nos plages, comment se comporte notre baie, comment se comporte notre sous-sol, comment se comporte tout simplement la température de l'eau. Travailler sur la qualité de l'eau dans le golfe du Morbihan est un vrai challenge et pour ça, on met à disposition des systèmes pour surveiller la qualité de l'eau, où on va mesurer pour examiner si on reste dans des normes qui sont, d'un point de vue environnemental, satisfaisantes. Le chercheur cherche, l'élu décide, le maire que je suis décide, mais est-ce que quand je décide, j'ai toutes les données Je ne crois pas. Donc il faut rapprocher le chercheur de l'élu. Maybe there need to be more communication between them because sometimes they do not understand because they don't have the same way of seeing an issue. La difficulté que rencontre le politique, c'est que la durée de son mandat est certainement plus courte que la préoccupation environnementale ou les changements à venir. La faute elle est sans doute des deux côtés, mais elle est aussi la faute des scientifiques, des chercheurs qui ne vulgarisent pas leur recherche, leur savoir, ça reste un savoir de spécialiste, alors que ce savoir, ces recherches, elles doivent être comprises par le plus grand nombre. Je pense qu'aujourd'hui, on a passé un cap, c'est-à-dire que les politiques peuvent facilement travailler avec les scientifiques. À l'échelle des députés, je n'ai pas souvenir d'avoir eu une conférence organisée par l'OCDE pour pouvoir sensibiliser justement les députés qui sont pourtant amenés à voter des lois. Et donc, je les invite à le faire, si ce n'était si pas le cas ou alors euh, de communiquer différemment si j'étais passé à côté. <rire> C'est possible aussi. Il ne faut pas avoir peur de demain. Il faut, euh, il faut faire face aux défis de demain. Mais non pas en effrayant le public par le catastrophisme. We need to be more uh, yeah more positive about the future because <laughs> not everything is uh, as bad as we think il faut trouver ce, ce juste ligne entre euh, le développement économique préservation de l'environnement et comment l'action humaine aujourd'hui quelle répercussion elle va avoir par rapport à ce changement climatique qui est déjà présent le challenge qu'on doit tous relever c'est de continuer à s'éduquer sur les préoccupations environnementales. The youth are engaged in the, the future and we want to be a part of it and we want to act because it is also our future and the future of the world. L'or c'est l'eau ou l'eau c'est l'or. Mm -hmm.